are we working on today? 2001 Mustang Bullet. And what are we doing? Uh, we're fixing a blown out spark plug. So the story is he's had a helical put in this just this one cylinder or yeah, others too? Just this one. Just this one cylinder. So he blew a spark plug out again. What, what was the story? You tried to put a spark plug back in it? No, the I, was, I was replacing the spark plugs and when the old spark plug came out, the helical came out with it. Okay. So, so I tried putting a new helical in and uh, it blew that one right out. So we're going so, with the uh, cow van. We'll show you all that here. So no more helical. We got a better system here. We're going to show you all that. Cylinder repair kit. And this is what we're inserting into the cylinders here, right? Yeah. So it comes with a full set for doing all cylinders if you need to do every single one. Or are these all different? They're all the same. Okay. And this is just for the, this is 4.6 and 5.4, correct? Yes. On, on these years. So we got a reamer here, got a drill bit. What is this here, Parker? That's the guide. That's the guide, okay, so you drill a straight hole. Oh, cool. So we're gonna get busy with this. We're gonna show y'all how it works. This is the first time for us too. And uh, hopefully get this old bullet Mustang back on the road. I feel bad this car's so dirty in a video. <laughs> it has been sitting for a while though because of this problem. So we're gonna get this fixed. So what are, we, what are you looking at there, Parker? Uh, this is a cylinder, basically a leak tester. Um, you stick it down in the hole and you put compressed air through it. And when the valves are shut, it'll shoot that out of the spark plug hole. So that way you know your valves are shut. Yeah, that way you don't get shavings down so in your so motor. We stuck this, he's got this cool little camera here. Which I should have shown that, but we uh, stuck the camera down in there. And as soon as you stick the camera in the spark plug hole, you can see the valve open. So the idea is, is have the valve shut so you're not getting shavings and trash in it when you do this. Hold this, and you just turn it until that thing shoots out. Insert the guide into the cylinder. Insert cord drill through the guide. It's important to use a quality air ratchet. Do we have that? That's what this is right here, isn't it? I think so. So I think Parker's been coming to automatic garage too much because he had to go out and get him a fancy Milwaukee ratchet now. I actually like this smaller one though. It's easier to get in uh, some tighter spots with it than the fuel one. On certain things. We have our our guide right there, which is gonna help him to drill the hole straight. We got a clip on that reamer there so that it doesn't go too far. We did make sure the piston was at bottom dead center at its dwell point so that it wasn't it's as far down from the top as it can be. Now he's gonna use his fancy dancy Milwaukee ratchet to run that reamer down through there. Here we go. Let's mess some stuff up. I mean if we screw it up it's only Three thousand dollars in new heads. Only three grand. All right. <laughs> So I just want to point this out, Parker, that we're using this little trashy Mickey Mouse compressor and you look right up here and there's this behemoth. So they're still wrapped in plastic and mounted to the pallet. Seems backwards here. We can't afford to hook it up right can't now. Can't afford to hook it up right now. 
gotta buy spark plug hole fixers. We know what automatic garage, we got two compressors now. <laughs> High rollers. Your hand there. That's the tap inside of the guide. With the clip to stop it again. Yep, the clip to stop it from going too far. Did it stop? Yeah. Alright, I would stop then. I think I did the handling though. Now the e clip right. is down. So we're doing about two turns out and one turn back down as we're coming out, cleaning the threads out. threads down there. So this here is a helical. This is the time cert or what is it? This, what is this one called? Technically? Calvan. Calvan is what this one is. So the two side by side. You can see how much you get a lot more meat. It looks way better. So we have test fitted our spark plug. It's in there nice and easy. Yeah. And now we're going to put thread locker on it and put it in there. Here goes nothing, right? Yeah. Make sure we don't screw these threads up. There we go. Now it tightened it. up. Torque it, right? Yep. Torque down. Feel better than all the other ones did? Yeah, <laughs> a lot better. Well, at least you know how to do all the other seven, though. Yeah, we'll make seven more videos. <laughs> I think we're ready to fire it up. How long has it been sitting without being cranked? Um, probably about six months, maybe, since it's been cranked. So we're about to crank the car and thought everything was good to go, but look what we left down there. Alright guys, Automatic Garage signing out. 
Uh, check out this whole video on the Calvan Triton uh, insert for your spark plugs getting blown out. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Check us out at automaticgarage.com. We'll probably have some more videos coming on about this car, wouldn't you say, Parker? Yeah, Maybe. Sure. Maybe when it's cleaner in the future. Yeah. Not definitely. covered in dust. So it's Automatic Garage signing out. We'll holler at y'all later.